Hello everyone, welcome to Larabanga Mystic Stone. And as we head in, I'm going to stay a prayer. How do we lie me no shite on you, Rajin? Bismillah, Rahman, Rahim. Ali am dili lahi robili alamin, a Rahman, Rahim. Maliki yaumidin, ya cano abudu, ya cano stain. Idino surat al mustakim, surat al ledino ali amta alayim. Garen magrubi alayim. Walla darling. May we come back out successfully. Amen. <laughs>
is counted among the oldest monks. We are not talking about the first, but we are also seeing that it's counted among the oldest monks in West Africa. Actually, those days, Islam as a regime was born and bred in Saudi Arabia. That time, many others tried to spread it to the other world. Thank God one Ibrahim came direct from Saudi Arabia. At that time, Ibrahim has no business apart from to spread Islam as a religion. Lo and behold, he came and found himself where the Larbanga stone is. At the time he got to the stone site, there was no road at all, but already it was noted at trans tree route. They were oh. carrying slaves across here. And slavery in those days threatened peace. Because the way and manner they deal with it, they kill innocent life through slavery. They maltreat old people. They even rape beautiful girls. So when Ibrahim came here and saw the activity of slavery, actually it was a worry to him. And Islam believed that with prayer as a weapon, everything is possible. So to maintain peace and order around this area, Ibrahim did a lot of prayers here. He found himself sitting on this stone day in and day out, inshallah, until peace prevailed. No more slavery, no more conflict. Then he decided on plan ahead of him to put up a mox first. So he walked around this area, seeing that here is no all that convenient. It's so rocky and sloopy. But at that time, Ibrahim was having his spear. That spear, when you talk of spiritual in those days, mm -hmm. count the spear addition. Whatever plan ahead of Ibrahim, he only lays you with the spear, not a human being. Mm -hmm. So trying to locate a site for the mox, he stood by the stone and threw the spear and traced it. God being so great, 24 hours, he saw it few distance from here. Already perched inside, he laid down foundation of a mox. Wow. There he went and then introduced the foundation to the people. Oh. So they gathered and then put up the Larbanga Mox. Oh, okay. So at the time that they finished building the Mox, Ibrahim brought his people back here. And then he introduced here to them, saying that here they take special care of it. Mm -hmm. It's a blessing area. Whatever yeah. challenge that you're facing, if it is good health, if it is long life, you are allowed to offer your prayer in the name of God. Inshallah, God will listen to your prayer. But Ibrahim only warned that be careful not at any point in time should you cry your worries to the stone, meaning that the stone has nothing to offer any generation. And this is the area we take time to guide history as what to do and what not to do. The stone is here representing a holy site, but we don't worship this stone. Okay. Anytime we have a challenge, we come here to offer a prayer. Inshallah, we believe that the prayer will not go in vain. Mm -hmm. And Ibrahim said, here, no discrimination. You could be a Christian, you could be a Muslim. You are allowed to offer your prayer. But it is your interest and belief. Mm -hmm. It is not again a charge on anybody for prayers. Whatever that you release here, for yourself to pray, inshallah, is a saraka to Almighty God. So the contractor who was trying to construct the roof, struggling through the stone, also did a prayer here. And later on came and then realized that here is very important. So he divided the old road around the stone. Oh. And that was the time they named it the Missy Stone. Actually, mm. this is just a brief history about the Missy Stone. Wow. So this stone actually is touchable. Okay. You can touch it, you can feel it. You can also kiss it, you don't have problem. Mm. So I'm I so think, privileged to be here. Thank you yeah, so much thank you. for telling us this story. Yeah. And again, I want to ask, how old is it, this actually, stone? Actually, uh, like I stated by tell you the uh, history about this particular stone. I okay. related to the year around 1421, thereabout. Okay. That was the time. Like 600 years? Yeah, something? actually. That was oh. the time uh, people estimated to be the exact time of the time that they came to wow. construct the first route, around 1421. Yes, That's, yes. Wow. It's long history. That's about 600 years, Actually, right? actually. Wow. So... And anybody can pray there. You don't have to be a Ghanaian or a Muslim. Uh, like I said, every generation can pray you, there. You could be a Christian, you could yeah. be a Muslim, or whatever tribe you are, mm -hmm. then you're allowed to offer a prayer. Why? Because in the early days of Islam, mm -hmm. leaders who lead religion, mm -hmm. they didn't discriminate. At all. Jesus Christ, the Lord, didn't discriminate. Mm -hmm. 
the way and manner you play your game to convince somebody to your religion, mm -hmm. I think that's the best that they try to wow. convince people to join prayers. So here, actually, it's for every generation. But I want to only put it that it is your interest and belief. Amen. I get in the point. Yes, sure. Yes. Wow. Besides the history, actually, Darban has a lot. Uh, we even have a grand festival, purposeful for the stone side and the mosque, oh. whereby people from different countries join us for the celebration, okay. which even happened last four weeks back. Oh, that's last month. Yeah, I think we were talking about that before. Yeah. Is it a fire festival? That the fire festival. The fire festival. If not because of the coronavirus, Mm -hmm. uh, actually, many people come here the more. At the time that you come here, even you stand far, you can't see this stone. Yes. It's very oh, crowded. Yeah. The fire festival, what yeah. is the real meaning or the intent for the fire festival? Why is they attached to this? Yes, why are they attached to the fire festival to the mystic stone? Yeah. The they... bank box? Yeah. yeah, actually, you know, fire festival, is also a tradition tied to Islam religion, in the sense that those prophets in those days have a particular year of celebration. And then it is the year that prepare everybody against time. What will be ahead of time, so you have to take note of that, in the sense that there's a Quran, Holy Quran, that normally in this Laraban community they read in that time. Mm -hmm. So that the reading of the time, uh, the Quran. You mean the Mubarak uh, time? Yeah. When they're doing the Muslim festival? Yeah. Mubarak, so, right? Yeah, actually. Okay. When the Quran is read, it will rest at a particular point. Mm -hmm. That point will be raised, and then they will read it. They will detect ahead of time what will happen. Mm -hmm. If children will be delivered more they will actually announce to the public. Wow. If there is any sickness ahead of time, people will know. Wow. If there is a lot of rain, many, many other things in religion. So know. that time they will know. But also there is a saraka that you also remove to protect or to prevent unusual occurrences. Uh -huh. You understand? Yeah. So it's related to religion and also traditional and culture in Larbanga community. Okay. Yeah. Wow. So wow. we can go ahead and, mm. you know, <laughs> mm. just say a prayer. Right? Oh, sure. yeah. But also help you to pray in the sense that you pray for good health first. So guys, as I'm making my prayer, I will say it's good to make your own prayer as well. And I believe whatever you pray about will come to pass. Believing as you touch the screen, you know, you're touching the stone. You believe that your presence is right there touching the stone. And whatever you believe, you know, will make you all. As you believe, it will definitely come to pass. I pray for you guys too. May God bless each and every one of you. I love you guys. I also add that... It's touchable. No. You, know, you can do anything. You can you can do anything. It's touchable. You can touch it, you can leave it. It's for you. Yes. So I also add that God will accept your prayers. Amen. But normally we pray for good health first. God Amen. will give all of us good health. Amen. Actually protect you in society. Amen. And give you society love. Amen. Whatever that is your challenge, inshallah, God will make it possible for you. Amen. You are moving as a group. May God give you unity. Amen. With unity, everything is possible. Oh, yes. Amen. Inshallah. Uh, Amen. Your dreams, we pray that they should come real. Amen. So that you live to expectation. Amen. But as a uh, woman or ladies, we find time and pray for them. Because without them, we are not there. Yes. In the sense that they build the family for us. So we pray that God should give you peace. And every lady should have peace. And, and also, God should give you sitting area. When we are talking of sitting area, we are talking of good marriage. Not good marriage alone, but blessed marriage. 
marriage that will produce children for us so that they will stand behind us. Whatever that is impossible, God will make it possible for us. And also, we are living in a world of danger. May God protect you against your enemies Amen. so that we override them. Amen. And whatever that will take, if it is small, God bless it. If it is big to God bless it. Amen. Where you are going, inshallah, we pray that God should lead you safely to wherever Amen. you find yourself. Amen. And nothing will happen to you. In Amen. Amen. لا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العظيم سبحان ربك الوجهات عما صفون والصلاة والسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين. أي يا هاجيا، the way you are taking the verses in the Quran I'm very grateful. Thank you. God bless you. Amen. Until I come your way again, it's still you girl. Boss baby talk. Be sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell so that you don't miss any of my upload. Goodbye for now. I love you. Okay, you are mostly welcome to Nazanga. Actually, this, this is just a small community with 100% Muslim. And the main occupation here is just farming. So, you know, education did not start here very early. So, and most of the people around here, they are very poor and then they don't want to take education very important. So, we need a project that will come here to help the community and then the children to educate them more about education. So like if you go to a class sometimes, we don't have enough classes here. And then our water, we also have a problem with water. So if you can come and help the community call Larbanga so that we can get good enough water and then maybe like to go to help our farmers. You know, this is the main occupation here. This, the main occupation is just the farming. So sometimes you see when the people farm because we are closer to the park and the animals will leave the park and come and destroy the people's crops. And sometimes they don't pay any compensation to these farmers. So, you know, if we get a project that will also help educate the, the, the farmers and also help them so that any animal that destroy their farm product Maybe they can also pay some compensation to these families. You know, it will be very good for the community. And also to get a good drinking water for the village. It will be well appreciated. Thank you very much. So to guys out the, there, these people the you country. see here are from Laribanga and they are asking for your help. Wherever you are, whoever you are, you can channel it through them and then we will get to that. So we'll Thank give you, you we'll post everything on board underneath and then you would see the um, link that you have to do all these projects through stationary good water anything that you think can help the community please bring it on we appreciate it thank you very much thank you, very thank you guys all we hope this project will be a very successful one and yeah and we appreciate you coming to that run thank you